Here we go. You start ripping your pants. One more, we just need one more. Nothing is as it should be. 223,000 euros. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this POV review by AutotopNL. My name is Martijn and today I'm introducing to you my second new car. Uh, the first being my mini Clubman John Cooper Works. Click in the top right corner if you want to check out that video. But this is the big news, literally the big news, because this is a 2011 Range Rover code L322, five liter supercharged, autobiography, black edition. So today I'm going to explain to you why the L322 is so special and why I bought it and why many have bought it and why it has been in production for 11 years. That's insane. So let's start with what we are going to do today. Today I'm going to tell you everything about the L322, about the history, about how it was developed, how it has changed during the 11 years. And then we're going to do a 0 to 100 kph measurement, a 100 to 200 kph measurement on the Autobahn. And we are going to talk about what we are going to do with the car and what it has cost me so far. So the L322 Range Rover, it was developed by BMW actually and it was introduced in 2001 with BMW parts. Before it was introduced in 2001, BMW had already sold Land Rover to Ford. So Ford was actually the one who introduced the Range Rover L322. So that's how those two played a role in this story. Uh, but when it was introduced by Ford, they found out that the BMW parts, so the engines basically, came with quite a bit of trouble. So it was upgraded in 2006 and it got completely new engines. So the 4.4 liter BMW V8 was replaced with a Jaguar 4.4 V8 because it was more reliable. Can you believe it? The Jaguar V8 was more reliable than the BMW V8. Same story with the diesels, they were replaced. And in 2009, they again replaced nearly all the engines. The 4.4 liter Jaguar V8 was replaced with a 4.2 Jaguar V8 with a supercharger with nearly 400 horsepower. And in 2009, the 4.2 liter supercharged was replaced yet again for this 5 liter V8 supercharged. So with 510 horsepower, again, a very big upgrade. So this Range Rover L322 is known for being a money pit, even though everyone who's got one or who's had one absolutely adores it. Famous YouTubers, car journalists, Jeremy Clarkson, Doug DeMuro, Harry Metcalf, they've all had or have an L322 and love it love it love it and i've had this one for four months now i bought it november 1st 2019 and up until today it had it has cost me nothing nothing has broke down it still works hallelujah i mean if you look at other videos of l322s um, yeah you can see that the maintenance and repair bills are huge another big cost is depreciation that's the big thing with these cars. They depreciate like nothing else. In the Netherlands, this car in 2011 was 223,000 euros. And I'm going to be fully transparent today. I bought it, 96,000 kilometers on it, for 28,000 euros. So that's nearly 200,000 euros worth of depreciation in eight years that's insane so i've had a bit of luck it seems um, knock on wood and this is what i love about this car i just take my dogs in it and go walking 
I can take my girlfriend, I can take my daughter, I can take a trolley, I can take two dogs and all in one car. That's amazing. I can sit right here, change my shoes for my boots without my socks getting wet in the grass. It's super. And then you get to do this. Oh, I love that mechanical feel. Really, really cool. Get my mic over there. Um, you get this great interior. Space. It's not super spacious, the L322, but it's really nice to be in. And this being the autobiography, I get to do this. It's like you're in a 7 Series, but you're just in the back of a farmer's car. That's really what this car is all about. It was the transition of Range Rover from a farmer's car to a super luxurious vehicle uh, that became the L405, the next and current gen Range Rover. What I also really like about the autobiography, black edition that is, is all the black details. So black supercharged 20 inch rims, black door handles, black on the air vents, black on the front grille, black lettering and black badging. That's really cool. And the later models have LED lighting and it's really, really bright as you can see. And it just looks a lot more modern than we have the regular headlights. So I also have these super cool side steps that come out electrically. Um, I'm going to demonstrate right now. If you close the car, they fold in. And when you unlock it, they fold out. And they are really convenient because when you get in, Without them, without using them, which I did at first, you start ripping your pants. I'm not kidding, these have been <laughs> repaired. You really have to use them to keep your pants safe. But they are quite expensive. It's an official Range Rover accessory and not a lot of these L322s have them. But I'm really glad that mine does. So. Yeah, really happy with that. So let's open the bonnet and have a look at that five liter supercharged V8. So this is it, it's called the AJ133 and they still use this engine for SVR, Range Rovers, Jaguars. Uh, a lot of cars with JLR still have this peach of an engine it's a masterpiece really just one of the best v8s ever built let's get in and check out the interior there are a lot of different l322s both interior and exterior wise because it has been in production for 11 years but it's had a lot of updates. So we've had the introduction in 2001, the first update in 2005, then one in 2006, another one in 2007, the big update in 2010, and a small update in 2011. So that's six, six different production cycles within one generation of car. What's also quite special is the number of V8s that have been in the L322. So within one generation of Range Rover, we've had a 4.4 liter V8 from BMW, a 4.4 from Jaguar, a 4.2 from Jaguar, a 5 liter from Jaguar, uh, a 5 liter with a supercharger from Jaguar, a 3.9 diesel V8 and a 4.4 liter diesel V8. So that's seven V8s within one generation. I don't think there's ever been a car that matches that number. So on the interior, this is a 2011 model. And what I really like about it is that it's a supercharged 510 horsepower version, but you don't really see it. You just have a small supercharged badge on the back which I haven't shown you yet. 
here it is with a small supercharged with supercharged on there but it's completely black so you don't really see it or re can read it but when you open the door there's a supercharged badge right there and there's a supercharged badge right there on the ref counter but that's it so it's quite inconspicuous what's also really nice about the interior of the later models is that you get some stuff of the l405 so range rover tested some parts in the l322 for the l405 like this digital dash it's the exact same unit you get in an l405 uh, this infotainment system is the same it has the cross pixels so these pixels can show two screens i can look at the sat nav system but someone next to me can look at a movie or go watch tv on the same screen and the audio is also split into two signals and you can you know plug in your headphones and just have a nice cinematic experience over there you also get heated and ventilated seats in the front and heated seats in the rear and as i've shown you they're electrically adjustable as well in the autobiography you also get a very powerful meridian sound system and it's super nice with the autobiography you could also get a leather roof lining which my previous owner did not get unfortunately and rear seat infotainment with dual screens in the rear which i also don't have because i think the owner thought that 223,000 euros was enough so let's take this 5 liter v8 for a drive and see what it's like okay so let's do a performance measurement and for that i am going to use our draggy gps performance box so here we are let's put it in sport and let's deactivate traction control and i'm also going to give you a screen recording so that you can see what this car will do so range rover says that this car will do 0 to 100 in 6.2 seconds so to test if it's got all the horses I want to see that 6.2 appearing right here. Come on. I'm going to give it a little brake launch. Here we go. What is it? Holy shit. That was a 5.7. Wow, that's quick. 5.7 seconds. But it wasn't verified. I don't know why, but it wasn't verified. Woohoo! I still have got all my horses. They're all in there. That's amazing. That really is amazing. Okay, let's see if we can do another one and get a verified 0 to 100. Again, I'm going to brake launch it. Here we go. Transmission isn't the fastest. What? What? It's a 5.6. Verified. 5.6, guys. <laughs> what? That's amazing. We've always said that. This is so funny because when we tested the Range Rover Sport, 5 liter supercharged, um, back in. 2013 i guess yeah that one also did 6.2 according to range rover but when we tested it max and i said it's way faster it's way faster but we didn't have anything to measure it with so now we have draggy we see that it's actually true it's actually faster than what land rover claims so that's really nice so later on we're going to do a 100 to 200 test on the Autobahn and we'll see how it will perform over there. 
I'm pretty sure it's not going to do very well because at high speeds, this <laughs> aerodynamic shape isn't going to help me. So yeah, let's turn this off uh, and talk about driving it. As you saw earlier with the 0 to 100, the gearbox isn't the fastest. This is the six-speed ZF gearbox. It's very gentle on the shifts. Uh, it won't let all that torque, 625 newton meters, just slam into the next gear. It like slushes the gears um, together. I'm not sure that's a verb, but I don't care. But it's really entertaining because it's only a six-speed, so you have very long gearing. So you can enjoy that torque and power for a long time. Ooh, and it's not slow as you saw earlier. But <laughs> you have to make sure that the speed is gone um, when you go through a corner because the handling of this car is really, really bad. It's super loose and fluffy and <laughs> comfortable but really entertaining i'm not going to change anything about that this is a 2.7 ton car one of the heaviest cars ever made and i like the way it drives i'm not planning on turning this into an svr rival i just want it to be really really cool in its own way I want to amplify everything it's good at and not try to mask the things it's not good at. Okay, here we are at the Autobahn. Um, you may have noticed the steering is a little off to the left um, and that's something I really need to change. So, as I've said, I bought the car in 2019 November 1st and so far today it's um, February 17 I've had no costs or breakdowns or whatever nothing knock on wood where is my wood so that's amazing these cars are known for being money pits but so far so good Okay, I'm going to activate Draggy again. We're going to check out how fast it is from 100 to 200. And check out the top speed, of course. This is how it's top and L. That is what we do. Here we go. Come on. So the top speed is 225 kilometers an hour. Um, I just did 226. And here we have it. 100 to 200 in 14.4 seconds. Which is a great result because it's faster than a new Porsche Macan S. <laughs> That's amazing. I can't believe that. It's a second faster than a new Porsche Macan S. Wow. Incredible. Really incredible. Okay, so let's switch to the speedometer cam. And you can see that this car has done 99,998 kilometers. So nearly 100,000. You're going to witness it. One more. We just need one more. Ooh, I'm so excited. Um, Okay, in the meantime, you might think that this car is quite unpractical because it's quite uneconomical, but it does six kilometers per liter. So yeah, that's <laughs> not that great, but it has a 100 liter tank, so it can do 600 kilometers. 100,000, woohoo! Range Rover, 100,000. Let's go and do another 100,000. Okay, so let's check out what the top speed is. 
if we get enough space. Because as I've said, you do need a lot of space. This car is 2.7 tons. You have normal steel brakes and they aren't the best. today nothing is as it should be it's way faster <laughs> than it should be it's not handling it very well but <laughs> did you hear that it just popped out Jesus Christ this is hilarious I, I'm in I'm in love with this car it's it's such a cool car it keeps on surprising me and the biggest surprise is this wow it's so fast I already felt that it was really really aggressive and it felt powerful but I never expected it to be this fast so what am I going to do with it um, I'm planning on getting a very cool Gorilla exhaust. Gorilla is a custom exhaust builder and they make like these one-off super awesome sounding um, exhausts and yeah I really want one of those for this car because I know that this engine sounds incredible with a decent exhaust so yeah next i want to make sure that it has perfect maintenance so i'm going over to the land rover dealer dealership and i'm going to get that steering fixed and i want them to check the car entirely and i want to get rid of the white because i don't like the white i think a range rover should be blue or green or something in between <laughs> that's just my preference so we have a lot to do with this car but for now we can say that it's just an awesome big beast with great capabilities great great capabilities thank you for watching and i'll see you at the next video don't forget to subscribe to see everything we're going to do with this car and other cars and if you want to check out another pov review click right here thanks for watching guys see you at the next one bye so I've just finished recording the review, but this thing is too fast for its own good, as you just saw, but it tears apart <laughs> when you do.